declaration with us. God, we're waiting. We are waiting. We are waiting. God, we're patiently waiting on you. Good afternoon. Good afternoon and welcome to Restoration Worship Center, Church of God in Christ. If you're watching us by Facebook Live, we ask that you would like and share, like and share this video. And I want to welcome those that are here in the sanctuary. It's time to come back to the sanctuary. Amen. Amen. This is the day that the Lord has made and I will rejoice. Yeah. And be glad in it. I'm Lady Frances McMullen, and our pastor is Pastor Tracy McMullen. We're located at 2925 East Michigan Avenue in the city of Ypsilanti. This morning, our scripture reading is found in Psalm 121, and it says, I will lift up my eyes unto the hills from whence cometh my help. My help cometh from the Lord which made heaven and earth. He will not suffer thy foot to be moved. He that keepeth thee will not slumber. Behold, he that keepeth Israel shall neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord is thy keeper. The Lord is thy shade upon thy right hand. The sun shall not smite thee by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord shall preserve thee from all evil. He shall preserve thy soul. The Lord shall preserve thy going out and thy coming in from this time forth and even forevermore. And the word of the Lord is blessed. Let us pray. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we thank you, God, for this day, God. Lord, we thank you, Lord, because you woke us up, oh God. We thank you that we have new mercies on today, God. Lord, we ask that you come into this place, oh God. Lord, wherever people are watching from, Lord, we ask that your presence would even be in that place, oh God. Lord, we ask that you would speak to our hearts today, Lord. Lift our spirits, oh God. Father, where there is healing needed, God, you are the healer. And God, we pray that Jehovah Rapha will visit and heal every place that's hurting, oh God. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 The scripture says that many are the afflictions of the righteous, yes, but Jesus. the Lord delivered them out of them all. So, God, we thank you on this morning. We thank you, God, for the power of deliverance, oh God. Father, we thank you thank for the you. power that's in salvation. Yes, God. Jesus. Father, we thank you, oh God, because you are our name. Thank you. you are our joy, God. And so, God, as we worship you today, God, yes. we ask that you would do what needs to be done in our yes, lives, Lord. God. Those that are watching, God, you know what we need today, yes. God. Hallelujah. And, Father, you never disappoint. So, God, yes. I ask right now in the name of Jesus that you would touch, that you would heal, deliver, and save, God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, don't let our coming be in vain, God. Lord, those that are streaming, oh God, Lord, let them stop at this page, oh God. Don't let them stream and don't let them scroll past, oh God. But Lord, you have a word for them today, God. And I thank you, God. I thank you. I thank you. I thank you. Thank you for being God. Hallelujah. Thank you for caring about us today, Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, bless your name, God. We bless you in this place, Lord. Glory, honor, and praise, Lord. Lord, you said, if you be lifted up, you will 
draw all men to you, God. And where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. Yeah. So God, we thank you for liberty today, God. We thank you for freedom today, God. In the name of Jesus. God, bless the word, oh God. Bless the word that will come forth today, God. In the name of Jesus. Lord, give us ears to hear and hearts to receive. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Worship you this to this day, oh God. Hallelujah. We thank you for being awesome. We thank you for being good, God. You are worthy, Lord. You
but I love you all today. If you love them, just put your hands together right there. God, I love you more than anything. God, I'll do what you want me to do. God, I'll go where you want me to go. Because you're a mighty God. You're a good God. And you're grateful to be praised. Hallelujah. God, we honor you. Hallelujah. Uh, yes, yes, Lord. Lord. God, we love you. We love you. We love you. Come on, just keep that praise. God, we love you. Oh, God, we honor you. Come on, come on, come on. Pull on your worship. Come on, pull on it. He's here. He's here. Oh, Jesus. Oh, I love Jesus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lift my hands and total adoration to you. Yes, Lord. You reign on the throne, for you are God and not alone. Because of you, my God is alone. I can sing to you this song. I just want to sing that I love you more than anything. Come on, let me just see you wave your hands in there. God, we love you more than anything.
more than anything, 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 Yeah. 
Restoration Family Worship Center. Yeah. Come on, let's give it up. Give God praise on today. Yeah. Hallelujah. And I just want to make a few announcements. Hallelujah. We are embarking upon a few uh, special events that we're going to have here in the church. And we invite uh, those that are watching digitally, digitally, as well as those that are here in the sanctuary um, on next Sunday, October 23rd. We will be appreciating yours truly at five o'clock, so we invite you to come and be a part of that service. Our guest speaker is First Lady Evangelist McCole Hands from Detroit, Michigan, a very anointed woman of God. You don't want to miss that service. Secondly, our Founders Day weekend is coming. Can you say Founders Day weekend? Founders Day weekend, yes, yes. It's going to be November 18th, 19th, and 20th. That Friday, we will have a revival here at the church. We're going to start it off, kick it off with a prayer revival. Um, I don't know, if you were here at the last one, God really poured out. So we're looking for God to pour out his spirit. We're looking for him to save and fill with the Holy Ghost. We had we have somebody filled with the Holy Ghost at the last one. Yeah. And so I'm looking for God. So I want you to invite your friends to come. We don't just want to have a service 
But somebody say we want to have an experience, an experience with, God. with God. Something that we won't forget. Then that Saturday, starting at 5, we're going to have an anointing service where we're going to um, lay hands and uh, agree with you on what God has called you to do. And we're going to baptize and we're also going to have communion. So if you want to be a part of that service, um, I want you to see me after service so that I can get your name um, and your t-shirt size. You don't have to pay for the t-shirt. We're going to pay for the t-shirts. So we're all going to have some t-shirts. And they're going to say, because he lives, I yes. live. That's what it's yes. going to say. Amen. Because he lives, I live. Yes. And then on the back of it, it'll just say, um, Founders Day Weekend 2022. Okay? Amen. And then we're, uh, that's what we're going to do on that Saturday. And we're going to close out with a dinner together here. Yes. And then on that Saturday, that is the conclusion of the uh, weekend. Where we will have our uh, service and our pastor will be speaking, or he may have a surprise guest speaker. So, will you come and join us Amen. for our Founders Day weekend? Amen? Amen. Amen. Yes. Last announcement is starting tomorrow. We will have our women's ministry kickoff. Yes! Woo! Yes. The men's group is doing really well. And so God, excuse me, has laid upon my heart to reignite the women's department All right. um, small group ministry. And so we'll be meeting here at the church tomorrow at 6 o'clock. And the theme is mask off. All right. The mask that we wear, mask off. So we're coming here with our mask off. We're coming to care and to share and to um, get into God's word and to bond. And I believe God's going to meet us there. So if you're listening and you'd like to be a part of this and you're a woman, that's all you need to be is a woman. <laughs> Join us here at the church at 6 o'clock. That's at 2925 East Michigan Avenue. Amen? Amen. Amen. So before we go forward, hallelujah. Pastor has a great word for us on today. The worship team is going to come and give us one more selection. And immediately after that, we will receive none other than our pastor, Pastor Tracy McMullen. Can we all say amen? Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah, Jesus. Thank you, God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. The song says, Our God is big.
praise the name of Jesus. Thank God for everyone that's here. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. Thank God for everybody that's here. I thank God for our musicians that's been filling in for us. Come on, give them a hand. Yes, yes, they came in so willingly. Amen. Our musician was out of town, could not make it, but they filled in for us. And I'm so glad that they did. They sound good too, didn't they? Come on, give them another hand. Amen. Let's turn our Bibles to Matthew's 16th chapter. Matthew's 16th chapter. Just want to sing a little part of this song. I love you, Jesus. I worship and adore you. Just want to tell you, Lord, I love you more than anything. Yes, yes. And I love you, Jesus. And I worship and adore you. Just want to tell you, Lord, I love you. Just like this. 
And Simon Peter answered and said, Thou art the Christ, the Son of the living God. Uh -huh. And Jesus answered and said unto him, Blessed art thou, Simon Barjona. For flesh and blood have not revealed it unto me, but my Father which is in heaven. And I say also unto thee, Thou art Peter, and upon this rock I will build my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. And I will give thee the keys of the kingdom of heaven. And whatsoever thou shalt bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. And whatsoever thou shalt loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. Amen. And also, let's go to Acts, the first chapter. Acts, the first chapter, and the eighth verse says this. But ye shall receive power. After that, the Holy Ghost is come upon you. And ye shall be witnesses both unto me and in Jerusalem and in all Judea and in Samaria and unto the utmost part of the earth. May the Lord have a blessing to the hearing and the reading of his word. And say with me, God, God has given you, has given you power, power over evil. Over Say it again. God, God has given you, has given you power, power over, evil. over evil. Come on and give God a hand. Praise. Hallelujah. God has given you power over evil. Evil is anything that is morally wrong or bad for you. Evil is anything that is morally wrong or bad for you. For you, evil is immoral and wicked. And if you put a D in front of the word evil, you got devil. So the devil is the creator of evil. The Bible says that every good and perfect gift comes from God. So everything that's good and everything that's perfect that has happened to you. Is a result of God's love toward you. Amen? Amen? So we know that the devil being bad can't give you anything that's good. How many know that the devil being evil can't give us anything good? Can anybody name anything good that the enemy has given us? Amen? Sickness and disease from the enemy. Lack and want from the enemy. Death. The Bible says that the wages of sin is what? Death from the enemy. But Jesus says, I come that you might have what? Life and have it what? More abundantly. So every good and perfect gift comes from God. Amen. Yes, Jesus said that I come to give you life and give it to you more abundantly. So any interruption in your peace is evil. Any interruption in your health is evil. Any interruption in your home is is evil. Any interruptions in your finances is evil. You might call these problems situations of life, but I call them is but I call them evil. Amen. Because the devil is behind it. The devil is behind lack. The devil is behind sickness and disease. The devil is behind madness. Amen. The devil is behind sadness. Amen. But God wants to make you happy on today, and he's going to give you power over evil. Come on and give God a hand praise. God is a God of abundance. Say with me. God, God is a God of abundance. He's a God of abundance peace. He's a God of abundant rest. He says, come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you what? Rest. rest. So if you want to rest from the world, rest from the devil, come to Jesus. Yes. Amen. Jesus said that I will no wise cast you out. Amen. He said, I will never leave you nor forsake you. 
Amen. I'm, I'm here to tell you that Jesus will stick closer to you than a brother. Amen. Sometimes mama gave up on, give up on you. Sometimes daddy give up on you. But I'm here to tell you that Jesus will not give up on you. How many know right now that Jesus will not give up on you? Come on and give God a hand praise if you really believe that Jesus yes. will not give up on you. Amen. The Bible says, when my mother and father forsakes me, mm -hmm. then the Lord would do what? Take me up. Amen. So the Lord will take me up when my mother and father has forsaken me. Yes. When everybody else has given up on me, guess what? Guess who's still believing in you? God. When everybody else said, oh, he can't stay be saved, he can't live that life, guess who's saying you can? God. God. The Bible says that we have not a greater crowd of witnesses. In other words, we have a great crowd of people telling us that we can in heaven. Amen. I'm here to tell you that you can today. I'm here to tell you that you can overcome today. I'm here to tell you that you can win today. I'm here to tell you that greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world today. I'm here to tell you you will defeat the enemy on today. If you believe those words, come on and give God a hand praise. You will win. And I don't care how the odds are stacked up against you. I don't care what they said about you. I'm here to tell you that you will win. That God has given you power over evil. Yes. Amen. The Bible says that God is the greatest power. Say it with me. God, God is, is the greatest power. Now, Muhammad Ali was a three-time heavyweight champion. They said that never happened be, uh, uh, before. But I'm here to tell you that somebody's greater than Muhammad Ali. That's God. Muhammad Ali thought he was the greatest. But I'm here to tell you who's really the greatest. God is the greatest. Amen. God will not be defeated. Hallelujah. God will not be destroyed. Hallelujah. God will not lose a battle. Amen. God is on our side. Come on. And if he's on our side, you will not lose. Come on and give God praise today. So, Jesus wanted Peter to know, Peter, you have power over evil. And verse 18 says this in Matthew 16 and 18. It says this. Jesus is speaking unto Peter. He says, I say unto thee. He's addressing Peter. He's saying, I'm saying unto you, Peter. I say unto thee, thou art Peter. Uh -huh. I'm saying unto you today, you are Nathan. I'm saying unto you today that you are Troy. I'm saying unto you today that you are Zoe. I'm saying to myself, I am Tracy. Why did God... So why did Jesus say, Peter, you are Peter? He wanted Peter to recognize that without him, he could do nothing. He says, you're Peter. Peter, by yourself, you cannot defeat the enemy. By yourself, you are powerless against the enemy. But with me, hallelujah, anybody believing in God, with me, all things, all things. are possible. Yes. yes, he says, you are Peter. You are limited. Amen. You only have so much power, but with me, you can do all things. And he says to Peter, and upon this rock. See how he changed the subject. He says, and. First he says, thou art Peter. Then he changes the subject and says, and upon this rock, I build my church. He didn't say he's building his church on Peter. But he says he's building his church on himself. He says, upon this rock, who is the rock? Jesus, Jesus is that rock. He says, Peter, upon me, upon this rock, I am going to build my church. And guess what? And the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. In other words, the gates of hell will not be able to overtake the kingdom of heaven. Come on and give God praise. You might be going through hell right now, but it won't overtake you. Amen, because it's on Christ the solid rock 
that you're standing. You're standing on a firm foundation. You're not standing in your own might. You're not standing in your own strength, but you're standing on Jesus' shoulders. You're standing on the solid rock. And the, and the songwriter says, on Christ the solid rock I stand. All other grounds is what? Sinking sand. So I can't trust in nothing else. I can't trust in the economy. I can't trust in my job. I can't trust in my neighbors. I can't trust in my friends. But one thing I can trust in, and that's Jesus. Jesus will never fail. Say with me, Jesus, Jesus. will never fail. Hallelujah. Heaven and earth, the Bible says, is going to fail. Everything you know is going to fail. But Jesus will never fail. Hallelujah. He's from everlasting to everlasting. He has all power in his hands. Hallelujah. He can even tell death to step back and behave. Come on and give God a hand praise in here. And guess what, Peter? Since you're standing on me, Hallelujah. He says, I'm going to do you another favor. I will give you the keys of the kingdom of heaven. What do we use keys for? To uh, do what? Unlock things, right? If the doors are locked, we need a key to unlock them. Amen. Everything that the devil tried to shut in your face, God is saying, I'm giving you the keys to put that thing in that door and turn it and step into your blessing. Hallelujah. It's time hallelujah to use the keys that God has given you. So he says, I have given you the keys to the kingdom of heaven. In other words, I'm giving you everything you need to succeed. I'm giving you everything you need for the victory. I'm giving you everything to defeat the enemy on. Hallelujah. All you need to do is believe and use the keys. Tell your neighbor, neighbor, neighbor. use your keys. Hallelujah. I know that door has been shut, but use your keys. I know they said that you've been sick, but use your keys. I know they said you don't have enough, but use your keys. I'm here to tell you to use your keys. Hallelujah. You talking about how thick the door is. You talking about how big the door is. But I'm telling you to use your keys and open that door and get that blessing that God has for you. Hallelujah. Spread your hands in the air and say, God has a blessing for me. Say it like you really mean it. God has a blessing for me. You need to use those keys. Come on and use them. Use those keys. And he says, when you use the keys, this is what's going to happen. Now the door is going to remain closed until you use the keys. The devil is going to wreak, wreak havoc in your life until you use the keys. But when you get enough faith to use the keys, guess what's going to happen? I like the second part of this verse, and it, it says this. And whatsoever thou shalt bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. In other words, whatsoever you put your mind to, I'm going to agree with you. Amen. Whatsoever you decide to, decide to do, I'm going to agree with you. If you decide to have faith, I'm going to give you more faith. If you decide to have the victory, I'm going to make sure you get the victory. In other words, whatever you say, I'm going to agree with you. And if you've got God agreeing with you, you can make it. Come on and give God a praise. I'm going to give you a clear example of what I'm talking about. Some people might have bad credit. And sometimes when your credit is bad, you need a co-signer to get what you want. You know, your credit by itself is shot. It's no good. But then you got somebody else that got perfect credit. Say perfect credit. And they sign their name where your name is. And they're your co-signer and they're able to get that thing that you didn't even qualify for. What are you saying, Tracy? I'm saying that when God is on your side, he is your co-signer. And whatever thing that, that, that the devil said you couldn't get, you gonna get because God has signed his name beside yours. Come on, somebody's happy about that. Hallelujah, hallelujah. God has signed his name beside mine so I don't have to stay sick. God has signed his name beside mine. 
nothing. I don't have to stay broke. God has signed his name beside mine. I don't have to be sad and depressed. God has signed his name beside mine. So therefore, I can get whatever I want. Come on and give God praise in here. Hallelujah. So by yourself, you can't do it. But with God, you can do it. Because God said, if you believe me, if you believe in these keys that I've already given you, whatsoever things you shall bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. In other words, I got your back. Tell your neighbor, neighbor. Say it again, neighbor. God got my back. And he said, whatsoever things thou shall loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. I got some things that the devil try to keep away from me and I need them to be loose uh, I got some desires uh, that I need to be fulfilled uh, and I need them to be turned loose uh, and I'm here to tell you uh, that God uh, through Jesus uh, has given me the ability uh, to loose some things uh, that the devil has held up uh, how many know uh, that God uh, ain't gonna listen uh, to us feel feeling sorry for ourselves uh, how many know uh, that God uh, ain't going to listen uh, to, a, to a pity party? Uh, but how many know uh, that God uh, listens uh, to a praise party? Uh, I'm not where I want to be, uh, but I thank God I'm not what I used to be. Uh, I'm not where I should be, uh, but I thank God I'm going to get there. Uh, God ain't listening uh, to no crybabies, uh, but he's listening uh, for praise, and when the praise go up in his name, it makes them move, and makes them lose something. You need to praise God now, if you need something to be loose. You need to praise God now, if you need a dolphin. Go ahead and give God praise. Go ahead and give the praise. Upon your life, 
people will look at you and you will become a witness. And they, and they will say, I remember when. I remember when you was broke. Now you got money. People will say, I remember when you was on drugs. But now you're clean. People will say, I remember when you used to drink. But now you're sober. People will say, I remember when you used to sleep around. But now you're married. I remember when you was a gambler. But now you're a straight shooter. People will say, I remember your past. But now you're different now. And God will make you a witness by his power. He says in Jerusalem, that's your city. He says in all Judea, that's your county. He says in all Samaria, that's your state. And then he says in the uttermost parts of the world, that's all over the world. You don't know what God is going to do with your name once you get the power that's been given to you. Tell God, yeah. Tell God, yes. I am a witness of what the power of God can do in a man's life. I am a witness that I was lost, but now I'm found. I am a witness that God has given me power over evil. Say with me, God has given me power over evil. I can live right because I got power. I can walk right because I got power. I can be right because I got power. I got power over my flesh. Power to lay hands on the sick and they will recover. Pray where we are. 
Lord Jesus, we thank you for what your word says about us. We're going to walk in the strength of your glory. We're going to walk, Jesus, in the strength of your power. Lord, it's not by might nor by strength, but it's by your spirit, saith the Lord, that we will overcome. Lord, we thank you right now because we are overcomers. We thank you right now because we can overcome evil. We thank you right now, Lord, because we're stronger than sin. We thank you right now, Lord, because we're stronger than that temptation. We thank you right now, Lord, because you've given us power to win. Now, Lord, bless each and every one of you under the sound of my voice. Bless the ones that are watching on today. Let them recognize and realize that they have power against all evil. Let them know, Lord, that greater is he that is in them than he that is in the world. And right now, Lord, I thank you for what you're doing in our lives. I thank you for the change that's in our lives. I thank you for the victory that's in our lives. I thank you for the authority that's in our lives. Lord, the Lord had given me to leave with you on today yes. is found in Isaiah the 54th chapter Hallelujah. and it's a very familiar scripture Yes, and it says no weapon, no weapon. that is formed against thee yes. shall prosper yes. and every tongue that shall rise against yes. thee in judgment thou shalt condemn yes. this is the heritage of the servants of the Lord Thank you, Jesus. and their righteousness is of me Yes. saith the Lord. Yes. And so, as pastor is preaching Thank about you. us having power over yes. evil, the scripture came to my mind yes, because it was telling us that we have the power because of Jesus. Yes. Jesus is saying that there's no weapon. No weapon. That there's no evil. No evil. That shall uh, have dominion over yes. us. And it says that because he is our security. Yes, he is. This is the security that we have. Yes. So that we won't be taken down. Yes. That it won't triumph over us. Yes. That no opposition Hallelujah. will succeed. Yes. So you need to believe that because you're Thank in Christ, you. he's not going to allow nothing. Nothing. To overtake you. To overtake you. And no opposition Hallelujah. to take you out. Yes. And I love it because he said, this is our security. Yes. Somebody say security. Security. Yeah, I don't have a bodyguard walking around with me in the physical, but I got a bodyguard walking around Praise with me in the spirit. Him. Yeah. And he's not going to allow any evil Hallelujah. to overtake me because this is my heritage. My heritage. Somebody say, this is my heritage. This is my heritage. This is who I am. This is who I am. As a servant of God. Yeah. He's going to defend me. Yes. And he's going to give me the victory. Yes. Amen. Praise Amen. The Lord. Come on, let's give God a hand praise for the word of God. Yes, I thank you all for coming. Yes, there will be a women's uh, group starting tomorrow at 6 o'clock. First Lady will be there. Every woman that's watching me live stream is welcome to come and be a part of that gathering. If you want to be a blessing to this ministry, you can. Our cash app is dollar sign RW Center is our cash app. Dollar sign RW Center is our cash app if you want to be a blessing to the ministry. Yes, if you give a seed to this ministry, you are putting the seed in good ground. Amen. And God will return that seed back to you. It will not return to you void. I guarantee that in Jesus' name. I thank you all for watching us live. 
God bless you and may heaven smile upon you is our prayer. Amen. Thank God. Thank God for